Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it's for the week of June 21st through June 28th, all right? So thank you to all of you who have been watching and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. That's just my furry friend. He shakes sometimes and rattles. Um, but anyway, I really appreciate people that subscribe and comment, like. It really raises our collective vibration, so thanks for doing that. And if you're new, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you press the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are posted. But if you don't want notifications, just check back every week. I'm on here at least once a week. And... Um, yeah, so um, let's get to this. What's the guidance here, please? Guidance for Capricorn. Guidance for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn. All right, that feels good. All righty. I didn't mention I'm not offering personal readings. I've had some inquiries, and I, I'm very flattered by that. And the main reason why I'm not is just... Do, making sure I'm doing it with fidelity. There's some technology pieces involved and things like that, and I just don't want to open something up um, when I'm not really prepared for it in that way. Again, it has more to do with the technology and ways to do it. I mean, there's different ways to do it, but I just feel like right now the channel's very young, and I may change my mind on that, or I may, you know, may get some information that says, oh, this is easy, and, you know, I may change, and if I do, I'll post that here, but I do appreciate that. They're not available right now, but I, I thank you for inquiring. So let's begin here. We start with Sunday, and you've got the Strength card. Monday, you have the King of Wands. Wow. Tuesday, the Fool. Wednesday, you have the Page of Pentacles. Thursday, you have the Emperor. Friday, you've got the Seven of Wands. Saturday, you've got the Page of Swords, and then you end with the um, Seven of Cups. So, you know, overall, it's a strong reading. You have a little bit of a speed bump in here with somebody, but I feel like they're kind of reckless, um, and it's going to be, they're going to be easily, you're going to be easily a, a, able to avert whatever goes on there. But um, I love to see the Fool in readings. It really is a carefree energy it's you've got an interesting balance of energies too so you have leo here you have aries you have fire again um you have air so gemini aquarius and libra you've got a little bit of water and earth too um you start off here and this is father's day for those of you who celebrate it um but there's some there's something here to do with you being in your own strength, you may end up biting your tongue on something. I hate that expression. I'm sorry, but it just came out. Holding your tongue, not saying something. Okay, there's some repressed feelings here, and you may decide if you're in a group of people to not say things. It's sort of like, does it need to be said and does it need to be said by me? And oftentimes the answers to those are no and no, um, because I don't have to apologize for something I didn't say right um and you know especially if it's you know something that's contentious or would start a fight with somebody um in a group or in a situation where i just the older i get the less i like conflict i guess but for you it does feel like there's something here where you're you're kind of just wanting to be devoid of conflict you're not looking to have conflict and and you've got a lot of self-control you know i do feel like you've got good self-control and it's going to be easily averted Monday here you've got the king of wands and um, with this king of wands it's definitely about taking action okay and making great decisions you've got wonderful energy around you so if you have a an important decision to make you're gonna have a lot of clarity around that or if you've been thinking about something for a while um, but you know again he's full of charisma so I do feel like you're gonna be getting a lot of attention you're gonna be leading people um, just a lot of ideas are coming into your mind and, um, you've got a magnetism about you. So, um, with this too, I feel like a lot of people around you really believe in you and may even be kind of pushing you forward on something, encouraging something like you should do this, you know, like you should write a book or you should go back to school, um, because they see the potential in you. 
They really do. And they see the ability to follow through on things too. So you may end up taking a leap of faith because you have this King of Wands is like inspired action and then you have it here again. And the, the Fool is a little impulsive, yes, but the Fool is about a fresh, new, clean slate. So if you've been wanting to reinvent yourself for a while, now is the time to do it. You have all the right energy around you to feel brand new is what I get. Um, it's also, with it being a zero, it's infinite potential. And infinite potential takes action, you know, otherwise it's just unrecognized potential. Which is kind of, in the, in the tarot, it's the difference between the magician and the high priestess. So the magician is one, the high priestess is two. And um, she is inert. She's, she's potential but needs action. He's complete action. So it is definitely telling you to move forward. And, you know, there's nothing stopping you. You've learned a lot of things on the way in your you know, you're able to manifest too. He's got this wand that he holds his experiences. This is a bag of experiences. He's got this wand kind of casually draped that he can pick up and use anytime he feels like it. So it's definitely a time for you to start moving forward with plans about things. Now with the page of pentacles here on Wednesday, you may have some money that comes in. Um, and just it may be something you've been expecting for a while if you've been waiting on some kind of payment it certainly could come in during this time and it also <clears throat> excuse me it is a time where i feel like you are feeling proud of yourself like you've you know gotten some attention like i said and some recognition for things that you've been doing um but it's definitely an offer coming your way okay um and it's also too this can be a card about um people who enjoy like doing hands-on work and fixing things and that could certainly be a direction that you're headed in. If you're thinking about taking some kind of class or doing some kind of apprenticeship, that, that's certainly the energy that this carries. Um, you know, it also can be a time to be a little bit careful with money too. So you may have money coming in, but just being prudent about it. And I think with Thursday with the emperor, you definitely will be because the, the emperor is all about structure and authority. And this is... Um, He's kind of like the dad that teaches their kids good manners. You know, he's got a high standard for things. This is an energy where your standards will be high and maybe even for yourself too. So be aware of that, you know, making sure that you're not holding yourself to such a high standard. Once you get into this momentum of all this recognition, it can be, um, you know, it can, it can kind of put a momentum together that even though I feel confidence and authority coming in, that it's like the expectation can be a lot, right? Everybody needs a break once in a while. Um, but I also feel like, too, you got... It's interesting because you got the Seven of Swords coming in, and this is a very honest energy, very upfront. I feel like you may be a witness to some kind of confrontation. Um, it feels like somebody here who is honest and forthright ends up catching somebody, maybe at work or something, um, or it could even be like a friend where they, they catch somebody with some texts or something. But this is on Friday here. So if you're planning on going out, you may find yourself in the middle of some kind of a tete-a-tete -tete between two people. Um, and this person is sneaky. You know, they are trying to sneak off with these swords, but they're doing it in a really obvious way. You know, and look, nobody's even chasing them, right? It's like there's this energy about it that, yeah, there's dishonesty and somebody who's trying to pull some crap but they're not very good at it it's not like they're a master manipulator there and which is you know who wants that right somebody that really is able to read people enough that you don't notice until it's too late this is almost like very careless it's just a very carelessness so be be aware of that too that there could be some carelessness around you and um you don't have to be completely on guard but just be aware of it so that um, cause sometimes too, this can be like stealing ideas and that just came in too, like, um, somebody that tries to present your ideas cause you do have such charisma here coming through that somebody tries to present something of yours as their own. Um, you have Saturday, you've got the page of swords and again, this, this page is not the greatest communicator. So be aware of that sort of restraint and pen and of restraint of pen and tongue so if 
Like I mentioned before, texting is going on here. Just be careful with that because sometimes we can say things that we can't take back and um, it can really change a relationship. Um, so I've had my own history with that and I, I get it, right? Um, but just be aware of that. Um, but I feel a bit of a feisty, restless energy, maybe wanting to get out and take a long run or even somebody starting to train for something it feels like training for like a triathlon or a race of some sort that won't be until later, but there's a restless wanting to get up and move kind of energy. Um, and then you conclude here. So you've got another seven here, seven of cups, and um, you're looking at options for things. Like I said, I feel like there's been a little bit of a speed bump here, but nothing major. And some of you may just be on Sunday looking towards the week ahead and looking towards too. I, I, we haven't talked a lot about relationships, but kind of looking at where you stand with things and what's next and what's the best path to take. Um, and there's many, okay? There's, there's many different avenues. Um, so it is a bit of a daydreamy energy, which is actually kind of refreshing after this page of swords and the seven here. So um, either way though, I do feel like you've got a wonderful magnetism about you and charisma. And that may be this too, for some of you that are single, you may have them lining up. I, or, you know, I don't know. I just got that too. So, um, we'll close things off here with an Oracle card to attract more love. Although I don't think some of you need this. You are attracting tons of it. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So the strength card is in here, right? I mentioned that about, um, just calibrating your words. There may be something important there for someone. And then you have this, we'll close off with Abraham Hicks asking it as given. My life is supposed to be fun. Be easy about all of this. Life is supposed to be fun, you know. It is Abraham's powerful desire that you return to your state of self-appreciation. We want you to feel love for yourself, for the people of your world, and most of all, I'm, I'm sorry, for your life. There is great love here for you. So, awesome. You can have, do, or be anything, right? You know, if you can see it in your mind, you can create it in your reality. Um, I always feel sad when somebody writes a negative comment about their lives, and it's like very general, but it's like, my life sucks or something. I even didn't want to say that out loud. I feel bad because there's a lack of, um, you know, emo there's a lack of alignment there, because really we can bring in great things. I know I've seen it in my own life, and I've seen it in others. So I love you so much, Capricorn, and I'll be back again soon.